Following in the footsteps of Motorola, Fujitsu, Apple, and others, Samsung last week released the Galaxy S5 with a fingerprint sensor embedded in the home button. Despite being one of the premium phone's flagship features, Samsung's implementation of fingerprint authentication leaves much to be desired. The finger scanner feature in Samsung's Galaxy S5 raises additional security concerns to those already voiced about comparable implementations. This video shows how a wood glue spoof made from a mold from last October's spoofing attempts of Apple's Touch ID is reused to bypass the Galaxy S5's fingerprint lock without any additional effort whatsoever. The spoof was made under lab conditions, but is based on nothing more than a camera phone photo of an unprocessed latent print on a smartphone screen. Perhaps most concerning is that Samsung does not seem to have learned from what others have done less poorly. Not only is it possible to spoof the fingerprint authentication even after the device has been turned off, but the implementation also allows for seemingly unlimited authentication attempts without ever requiring a password. Incorporation of fingerprint authentication into highly sensitive apps such as PayPal gives a would-be attacker an even greater incentive to learn the simple skill of fingerprint spoofing. Once he has allowed the phone to connect to the internet, the attacker in this video is able to use PayPal's new app to perform any task he wishes, including making purchases and unsolicited money transfers from the victim's PayPal account. He takes advantage of the fact that he has allowed multiple attempts to make a successful swipe with his spoof and proceeds to wire money to himself from the victim's debit account. While biometrics will always carry with them a trade-off of security for convenience, it is the manufacturer's responsibility to implement them in a way that does not put their users' crucial data and payment accounts at risk. A link to further information, including a step-by-step -step explanation of how the fake fingerprint was created, is found in the notes.